Hello guys, this is Korean Bass GTA. Welcome to another GTA Online video. I hope you are all doing well. Today I will be reviewing the custom auto shop that came with Los Santos Tuners DLC. So let's dive right into the video. This is basically a custom auto shop of yours that you can make money from it. Upon buying the property, you'll have access to new contract missions and you'll get the car upgrades at a discounted price, besides free classic paint resprays. Let's talk about the compartments. Firstly, there are aesthetic elements such as style, tint and emblem. I don't recommend these if you have limited amount of money. Secondly, there are some additional purchases like staff and extras. Staff is your worker at the auto shop. Once car service is finished, staff can deliver the car to the customer. And this is of course passively processing. So if you do not have any staff, you have to deliver the car to the customer by yourself. I recommend buying at least one staff member in order to passively deliver the car. At the extras, there are personal quarters and car lift. Guys, again, if you have limited amount of money, you don't need to buy these. There are already one car lift that comes with default version of the auto shop. And you can always upgrade it as you get the money. So no extra money will be spent upon later upgrades in the auto shop. Also definitely recommend you to buy a LS Car Meet membership which is 50k dollars to access new features at Car Meet. So if you fully upgrade it, it costs nearly 4 million dollars which is cheaper than I expected. I did not repeat the missions, but I think this investment will quickly return the initial amount if you do the missions. There are three cash flows from this property. First one is obviously the car service. Once you set up the auto shop, there will be cars at lift to be serviced. In service, you install customers once and then deliver the car. So the service costs $35,000 and upon completion you'll get $60,000. This money will double if you own two lifts, but you may require more staff. So this is a nice kind of passive way to make money. Next, there is a blackboard which reminds me of Y City. In this blackboard there are names of cars to be delivered. And once you find the car at free mode, you have to deliver it to the docks to get paid. I delivered a carbon zero and got paid $20,000. Notice that you don't need to mod the car, just take it and ride it to the docks. But finding the wanted car is a bit hard. Currently I did not do this much, but I think there will be an extra payment upon completion of the car collection. But this is not guaranteed, this is just my guess. The last and the biggest money making from this auto shop is to do contract missions. Contract missions are like small heists, but it will require less amount of time and less money than the heists. Once you get into the auto shop, you can pick a contract mission from the board and start doing it. There are two setup missions and one final at each contract mission and the payouts varies from 150k to 200k. Also, you can do these missions solo or up to four players. So yes guys, I recommend you to buy the auto shop which gives access to new missions and features. And remember the free paint and discounted car upgrades. Guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. The new summer content for GTA Online is released and I will continue recording videos of this content so please consider subscribing to not miss anything out. Thank you and see you on the next video.